Welcome to South Rivers, I am Matthews. Welcome to South Rivers, Yeah, welcome to South Rivers. And welcome to the Port Elizabeth Cemetery. Yes, um, when last did you visit this cemetery? As you can see, it needs cleaning. Yes, at this funeral, one gentleman hooked up in these vines and went down Bradham. Thankfully, there was no stone behind him or we would have had a casualty right there. But yes, this is Port Elizabeth and you won't want to see Paget Farm. Not sure what's happening, but yeah, that's how it is here. <laughs> hi good morning what's up my people yes today i am dressed for success yeah guys uh, welcome back to my channel and today i'm gonna be heading to my garden <sighs> guys it's been a while coming the grass i've grown up yes i didn't get the opportunity to Go out into my garden for a while now because every day i decide i'm going it starts to rain so the sun is out right now it's after nine o'clock yeah a bit late to be in the garden but guys i am going to go and let me show you what i have to deal with yeah <laughs> look at that everything has grown up anyways i'm going out there yeah I just want to be with you. Let's see how this works. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, my peas are still there. Guys, I can hear some people saying, why you don't hire somebody to come and clean this? Yeah, I can afford to hire somebody to do the job, but I have stuff burning in there and I don't want to come back and have to be crying yeah but this is what things look like now hey i got my chainsaw yeah i haven't used it as yet so maybe just maybe i may pull that out today and get it cranked up okay guys remember i am dressed for success <laughs> I don't know how much I'm going to do, but I'm aiming to clean those peas. Yeah, one of the other reasons why I haven't, um, you see, I have pumpkin vine going in here. But one of the other reasons why I haven't um, cleaned this out as yet either is because I don't want to leave you up there because with this rain this is a hill side so what I'm gonna do is just slash and leave the stuff there yeah Okay, so yeah, I gotta be careful how I cut because I don't want to cut my vine. So that's one of the reasons why I can't put any on anybody in my garden. If you know what I mean. Yeah, if you love your plants, you would know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to be spending a lot of time out here today. Yeah, just leave that there still. So I got my um. Gosh, I don't have anybody to bring the camera for me. But you see what I'm saying? I got pumpkin in my garden. Yeah, I'll show you guys 
You see? This is why I can't bring anybody. I gotta come back there and grab the camera. <laughs> and I have to be very careful because this place is slippery. Okay. Hope I don't fall. Eh -eh. I almost knocked out my um dragon fruit plant there. So I have two of them there. I gotta move them from there. But let me show you what I love. Hey. You see that? Yeah. And here, I gotta protect those. Oopsie. And I have my cassava grain here. So I gotta be careful. So guys, I don't think I am going to be doing a lot here today because I have to be careful because this place is waterlogged. Yeah, so I'm going to see what I can do and then I'm going to get back to you. Whew. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm done for the day. Yeah, because that place is slipping and sliding. But what I did, I cleared the peace tree. We have those things there uh, at the pumpkin. And I went down below the, to clean some sorrow. But this, I gotta pay. I have to pay more attention to this dragon fruit. Yeah. I think I'm gonna take peace over to Fayhal. <laughs> and the apple tree. I cleared the gutter somewhat, but I don't want to remove too much. You know, because um the rain is gonna fall again and I don't want the soil to be washed away. So next day I'm gonna tackle behind her. Yeah, clear away from around the house. Yeah. The sun has definitely taken a toll on me. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put some oil in my um mini chainsaw and see what it sounds like. Yeah. Then we have some books to deal with as well. Yeah. Yes, my people, so this is what I'm talking about. I talk. I bought it on Amazon. Yep. You wanna see what's in here? So it's a mini chainsaw. And there is a you know, goggles. Two batteries. Gloves oil bottle extra chain this to be honest i don't know what it's for <laughs> and right now i took the book out i was reading it someplace and i don't know well i thought i had put it back inside the case but it's not yeah something to clean the chain with and the charger so what i'm going to do is to put oil in this yeah so i bought me this oil so i'm gonna throw some in this bottle whoa guys i never Operated a chain in my life. Okay. Oh, shoot. Yeah. So I'm going to fill this bottle 
Boy, my hand trembling, we get in nervous. Yeah, I'm like hunger, got me too. <laughs> yeah, guys, so, um, you know, you gotta try to do basically anything that has to be done when you live like me. Okay, I don't want to waste that. Yeah. When you live like me, you gotta be a die hard man. You gotta work. You gotta work for it. Yeah. Alright, so. This can be the same thing. I can just pull this in like that. I am not sure if I'm supposed to fill it. I'm not sure what it's for. Uh oh. Alright, let me get a piece of cloth, you know? Oh, shoot. <laughs> you guys are making a mess. Let me get a piece of cloth. How to get up now? Okay, I'm back. This is crazy. Like I need a funnel. Yeah, like I need a funnel here, boy. Anyway, let me go again. This time, I'm going to use this water. Eh, eh. It's full up. Am I supposed to fill it to the brim? I don't know. But hopefully, what the inside they gonna go down. Then we gonna clean up. Come on, baby. Come on, baby, don't disappoint me. What is this for? Anybody know? I'm not even sure. Let me see if any oil goes on. I almost feel like it leaking. No, oh, the oil on my hand. All right, let's see what is going to happen. Jam that around. Safety force. <laughs> Safety force. I'm not cutting anything now, but check me out, man. Check me out. Dress for success. <laughs> hey, gotta go down and get a plastic bag. I hate to see plastic flying about. Oh boy, I'm tired. To be honest, I am tired. And the day has just started. Okay. Get away from me. Let me press it. Hey. Am I supposed to move that thing? Oh, wait.
Yes, my people. Let me test it out here. Eh? <laughs> Guys, I don't even know how to use a chain, sir. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Only now I can cut down the tree of them. Well, not all. I gotta learn to operate this better. Yeah, I don't know. I have to see. I'm not sure. Perhaps the battery. I <laughs> No, the battery is full charge. So, if I press that, why isn't it? Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> so it is locked there when I press this. So let me clean she up. Take out the battery. We safety first. All right, so I'm going to clean her up and I'm going to pack her away for the next task. Yeah. So, guys, this is my new baby. Let me see if the oil went down. Okay. Gotta look for the book. Because I'm not sure what this is for. You know, read instruction for us. But we just use and then read instruction when something goes wrong. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. All right, guys, I'm going to see you in a little while. Yeah, you're going to see what I'm up to next. Don't go nowhere. Mm -mm. Work with me today, yeah. <laughs> Working is a thing that you should like, yes. Is what this one go? Anyways, yeah, see you in a little bit. I have these school supplies um to sort out i should have done it before but i didn't but um you know it's never too late because you can never have too much school supplies yes i would have donated to a few children before already but i have um three scientific calculators yeah three scientific calculators i have a uh, Spoke bag here. Okay, <laughs> it's a John Spoke bag. Yes, and I have some pens, pencils. You know, I have two sharp mas remaining. Yes, I have these pencils. Yep, I have one pack of um pen and some remaining have erasers 
and we have uh, what we call notebooks right we have um these hard covers and we have spring back as well and then there is, oops and there is this package yes that this is like a package by itself oh let me see okay this is the first time i'm opening this one but this contains um folders yes books pencil case scissors pens markers erasers sharpener and everything and uh, i was given this 50 dollars well this 50 dollar bill 50 ec dollars <laughs> yes and um this was given to me by a house guest who stayed here um before hurricane beryl yes she was lucky to have left before hurricane beryl um so she donated uh, this 50 ec dollar bill and she asked me to do use it to do something for the children so i am going to buy some exercise books yes to put with these and the thing is that i got to decide how i'm going to distribute these um yes but i want to say thank you to saint cloud leach you know i affectionately call him cloudy for donating this stock this stash and uh, miss kamimi yes from trinidad and uh, yeah i think you guys can help me distribute these yeah but i'm gonna get back to this a bit later yeah my people who remember uh, who still does this if you're looking and you still do this give yourself a thumbs up yeah so we are down under this used to be one of my wash buckets you know but um i use it to mix tile cement and it's spoiled so now oh boy it's gonna be my table hon thank you for leaving for forgetting your tamron ball boy thank you for forgetting your tamron balls yeah man yeah yes guys so <laughs> for those of you who looked at the video um where we went for lunch yeah when we were talking about things that we did in our childhood days this is something that i would have done yeah my sister saying that how i leave her she used to have to go climb up um by mommy and me which is our grandmother yeah she lived on a hill and none of us really wanted to go up there because you couldn't ride you had to walk go up but i had my days when i would walk in the morning yes and in the evening as well because we were living closest to her so we are the ones that always would um well, most of the times, yes, unless, yes, the others send something for her from the road. But when it comes to getting her bread, getting ice, getting this, getting that, yes, when we had electricity, we were the ones. But I remember going to buy bread and um, <laughs> buying the bread, those penny bread as we call them, and you walk in coming home. And one time I eat up every single one of those bread ends. Yes, I break them off. There he is getting ready to go. Yes, I remember um, breaking off those bread ends. And um, when I reached home, yeah. My mother was really upset, but guys, she was wrong to send me because I didn't really want to go. So you have to find something to do that they will trust you to send you back again. Because um, we are talking about walking like about 15 minutes, 
yes to get that bread and another 15 minutes to take it back home and uh, rain or shine you had to go <laughs> yes my people and, uh, and next time they send us for ice because we grew up in jolly so yes we didn't have electricity until um around the time that the airport was opened yes the airport was opened in 1992 so we we got electricity around that time so we grew up without fridge you know without all that bright light and um we would have to go up the road for ice as well and i remember me and one of my cousins going up for ice and we walk it coming down we're going walking coming down and we have the ice in bag boy and we almost eat all the ice before we could reach home Say no work I have money reach home again and not attack again. <laughs> oh my gosh, those was those were the good old days. The good good old days. When Baldwin came on the scene now and he came of age to carry stuff up to our grandparents. One time I remember my mother fried some fish. Call them snook. Yeah, some pointed mouth, sharp teeth fish. And they gave it to Balwin to carry up. My gosh. Balwin went up the road, went up the hill. He left to go up the hill. And he came back after. They said, Balwin, you don't carry this? He said, yeah, man. When our grandparents, um, you know, we met up with our grandparents. The next time we come, my grandmother used to come down to spend time. under the. We used to go under the um, mango tree. So everybody would be under the mango tree. And we would, you know, just have family time like and Balwin never reach up with the fish said Balwin what happened it was two time one time the fish was already fried and the next time the fish was fresh so the time when the fish was fried Balwin sat down and he eat all the fish right and the time when the fish wasn't fried Balwin said he was going up the hill and he meet up um, a sheep was in the way either a sheep or a goat was in the way and he was afraid to pass so he take the fish and he threw it away. <laughs> that was my brother, Bwin. Yeah, the taxi driver. Guys, those were the good old days, man. The like good old days. When tell you, so you know, washing is real energy, you know, boy. Washing is real, real energy. Yeah. So. <sighs> If you don't know how to wash, when you're washing your t-shirts, first thing they taught us to wash the arm. Mm -hmm. Wash the arm, good. You know? Yeah, you wash the neck. <laughs> Especially if you have your school shirt, man. You have to hold that color, the boy. Sometimes you breeze and walk and say, you have to get a soap. And you soak that. Well, I don't even have a soap now, but yeah, I had these soaking from since after six this morning. Yeah, so when you finish that now, you can, you know, wash all around, <laughs> wash all around and go. Long time, I haven't done this because... For the past months, for the past years, I've been using washing machine. So, see you in my next task. So here, my talking on my transmitter died, and nothing was um, being transmitted. But yes, so I was hungry. It was time for lunch. I have a potato already um, cut and boiling in that pot. I have some grated garlic, some sliced onion, pepper, um, cabbage, carrot, and uh, two slices of fish. And of course, an overripe plantain. I know you guys are saying, why you don't throw that out? But hey, <laughs> I got use for it. Yeah, man. So... I guess you guys have to read my lips to know what I was saying here, but <laughs> that's a hungry happy dance. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be cooking some fast food today. 
Yeah, fast good food. So I'm going to allow that pot to dry out. Let me see if I can get some more light in the kitchen. Some more natural light, that is. Yeah. I'm going to allow that pot to dry out. Right, my people. Looks okay now. And I'm going to add me a little tip of butter. And I say a little, a little because I don't really like using butter that much. Yeah, I don't like too much butter. Just a little bit more. Yeah. So, the potato and the plant is boiling there. Let me turn the heat down. And I'm going to add my onions to that. My carrots. I'll leave the cabbage for last. All right. I'm going to add the garlic in a little bit. I have tomato in the fridge, but gosh, tomato is so expensive. I have one tomato remaining that I'm trying to, to keep it. My fish, let me dry it closer there. Let me turn the heat down low, way down low. Yes, yes. Let me add my garlic there. Let them get a little, saute them a little bit there. Add my cabbage there. Okay guys, so I have my vegetables here. I'm not even sure if what I was doing first recorded. But um, I'm adding my fish there. Hey, and my fish got raw. Yeah, adding the fish. I like to cook shortcut food. Eh? So I add the fish there. Okay, so you might take crank out, so I hope what I was saying, I'm not even sure if you guys heard it. Yeah, but um, you saw what I was doing. So, this is what, this is how I'm preparing my fish. Yeah, where's my tongue? Where is it? Let my baby sit here. Alright. I'll cover it for a little bit. Have to monitor it because I don't want it to get burned. No, not at all. And I'm going to check my potatoes over here. So I'm going to turn this off. Yeah, to save me some power there. So this is my potato. I'm mashing it with a spoon because I don't have a, a masher. <laughs> we call it at the moment. So I'm going to mash this and I'm going to add the plant into this. A little butter, a little piece of cheese. And yeah, oh, I may not add the cheese. Yeah. My fish looks like in the meantime. Look in the meantime.
Nice, 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 nice. And I'm doing this over very low heat. Yeah, over very, very low heat. Seal that down there, man. Seal the deal right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. I'm going to squeeze a little lime on this now. Guys, I'm chinking my lime because last week I bought one bag of lime with about five in it for ten dollars. Five small lines. Ten dollars. I'll show you the size when I'm finished. But I gotta chinse it. I have to buy me a skillet. I shop up by my sister for a skillet. Hey, hey, Steve, duty. Once you look in this, watching this, you know. And you are going to see it at a point. Yeah, guys. So these lines, five of them, I paid $10. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me bring this a little closer so you can get a better look. Let me get some light, man. So you see, this is how I cook my fish and it's done. I'm going to take this off. Yeah, no oil, but I just use a little bit of butter. <laughs> yes, to keep everything going. No water. Ta -da! Okay, it's time to get the juice going. So let me show you. I have the remains from the tamarind ball. Yeah, I was going to throw it away. But no, no, no. I'm going to use this to make my juice. All right, so what I'm going to do here, I have some hot water in the kettle. So I am going to Pour it in that. Just a little tip so I can dissolve the sugar fast because I have some I have some cherry in the fridge. So I'm going to add it to this. So see you in a bit. So guys, I'm just adding these two together. Yeah, so that's my drink. Cherry and <laughs> tamarind. Yes, all. So lunch is served. And you can prepare this in less than half hour. Yeah. <laughs> so I left the next piece of fish for dinner. Because fish is expensive. So my juice and my lunch. See you guys in my next show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Yeah, my head is in a mess. I'm going to take a run to pay Vinnick bill before Vinnick come for me. Yeah, and um, my cousin them. So uh, I'm not sure if you guys, well, if you're from Beckway, if you know that you can pay your bill at Vinnick. Yeah, there's a kiosk there, so you can go right ahead there and pay your bill. Let's go. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful day, and I'm driving out of Hamilton. Yeah, so remember, we are going to Vinlek. I want to get there quickly. Do, 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 do. Hey. Hey. I hope the office isn't closed because I don't want to go in the harbor. Yeah. Bram, 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 bram.
drive but the road is not yours you know and Let me see, let me see. Okay, so that yap is still on the bed there. Watch it, white people. Don't walk in the corner. <laughs> anyway, guys, so we are going to Vinlek. And um, whichever side you're coming from. Yeah, if you've never been to Vinlek, or if you've never been up in... Um, why you call up in there? I can't even remember where you call up in there. <laughs> but anyhow, when the power plant is up in there. In Oka. Oka reform. So it's up in this gap. And there's a big truck in there. Is he going to come out? Let me see what he's going to be doing because this is a small road. Okay, he's gonna. Hey, he knocking on the people them been. <laughs> yeah, but um, welcome to this side of the island. Yeah. So this side there's a road that connects you from this part straight over to the road that leads to spring well to union level all of that to the road behind the plain field oh there's a pan side that practices in here oh there's a garage here. so this road takes you straight over straight over through broad road and um into things so yes that's been like power plant been back with power station established in 1972 wow before i was born my father used to work there back in the earlier years so let me see if it's opened let me see if it's opened if it's opened it is a kind of a way so yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Don't block the road. I don't want to park all the way up here, so let me just go right, right here. Hope I don't go in the gutter. Am I gonna block anybody? I don't know. I don't know, my people. If that vehicle is gonna be moving or not. But all I'm hoping is that I don't touch it. So that you don't space there. <sighs> I'll be back. Up around that corner there's a garage, but I pull my camera basically to capture the house on the hill there. Yes, that um, was damaged during Hurricane Beryl. I think um, a lady with a disabled son, and I'm not sure who else, yeah, would have been living there. So I'm just hoping that she gets help, yes, and that house is restored so they can uh, get back to normalcy. Yep. So, yes, um, I'm in Oka. <laughs> That's where the power plant is. And uh, you pay your bill. Yes, you go through those two folding doors there. And you just knock. There's a kiosk in there. If you don't have your bill, you can ask the lady for a print off. And uh, they will assist you. Yup. 
their mission completed so we're gonna head back out and head back home just in case you missed something when i was coming in <laughs> you get a double take of it now yeah whoa yeah man so this is oka nothing um much happened in here during hurricane barrel small area quiet except for the um <laughs> the power plant power station as it says and uh, down in this area as well there is a steel pan side one of the two steel vans in Beckway yeah this road let me just see if you can see it I'm not gonna go up there but that road yeah will take you straight over above the um, high school area but I'm not sure what condition it's in now so I'm not gonna venture there yeah but the Alpha Sonic Steel Orchestra is located in here they have rehearsals on Saturdays man you're knocking on the people them thing man <laughs> yeah Alpha Sonic um, Steel Orchestra they rehearse right to the left where you're seeing that pole like a goal pose yeah there's a small pan room up inside there the rehearse on saturdays yeah man so hey uncle louis so this is it this is it i am going to head back home and I'm going to look for my screwdrivers and we're going to do some <laughs> let me see yeah we're going to do some operation on my camera okay yeah yeah guys i could have walked this but my gosh i think <laughs> i'm becoming like michael the sun is hot man yeah the sun is very hot i think i'm gonna make a stop at the supermarket and get me something to drink because i'm all sweaty from just that little drive there yeah, I was looking, I have to look at the weather. Because um, before I leave home, I will, my phone accidentally started a video on the weatherman's channel where they're looking at two systems and uh, both of those systems can become a hurricane. Yes, my gosh, this is my spot. Oh, I don't really need anything in the supermarket and yeah <laughs> guys I have to show you this look at this remember a while ago we walked the road and there the sun was shining so beautifully yeah now look at this look at the weather yeah there's some system farming so I'm gonna check them out and I'm gonna encourage you to pay attention Yes, I'm gonna check my own on the weather, man. Thank God I picked up my clothes. So right now my living room, once again, is like a laundromat. But yeah, we're gonna pay attention to those storms. Yeah, pay attention to them. And um, I'm really, really praying that these people without roofs, without proper housing, that they do get something, yeah, a proper shelter pretty soon. Okay, guys, so these are what? I came up with so two four six eight ten twelve fourteen people are gonna benefit so we have the book bag there we have this that's forward writing pencils pens everything yeah so this is what 
and the scientific calculators we have three so these would go for um, secondary school children Whoa. so what I'm going to be doing I am going to give these things selectively yes because um i know there are some parents who are still struggling yes to get even a pencil for the child yeah and oh, i still have a pack of these fancy pencils yes and still have some of these so i'm gonna um call in my team yes Nathia and natalia and i'm gonna see if they can help me yes with these donations yeah whenever we do it i'm gonna take you guys along yeah yes the sky is clear once again as you can see we can't really predict mother nature's um behavior these days I have here um, a bottle of, not a bottle, a bag of bottles, yes, for recycle purposes. Well, it's actually two, there's the next one behind there. Yeah, so if you're from the island and you're looking at this and you'd like to have them, and you know where I'm living, you can collect them. Yes, if not, I'd be forced to take them yeah, put them in my car and drive them all the way south to someone else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys. So with that said, uh, I want to thank you guys for joining me, joining me here today. Yes, it's quite hot. Whoosh. So take care of yourselves. And remember, we are still in the hurricane season. So be prepared. Pay attention to the weather. And um, yeah. Remember to look out for your neighbor because you never know when you're going to want your neighbor to look out for you. The next day. <laughs> the Paget Farm Government School Temporary Building still under construction. Yes, I captured this on Friday 30th. So, yeah. Seems that school is going to be opening soon. Flo seems to be getting the act together. So I am hoping that things will continue to get better. And we can be on the live on Friday 6 September 2024 at 8 p.m. So yes, guys, keep your fingers crossed. If you've reached this far and you haven't yet subscribed, please go ahead and do the do. Yes, help me get to 4,000 and beyond. Thank you in advance. Thanks again for joining me. And wherever you go, uh, share some love with someone. Yes, be good to yourself and be kind to others. Yes, man. I got additions. Yes, I bought my books, my exercise books. Bought some drawing books as well and we have this compliments my husband yep so you gotta be two years plus and over yeah and you really need this but yes i'm gonna finish sort these to go with that and we're gonna be ready for distribution soon i'm still ticking my brain as to what to do <laughs>